Hello, welcome to the queue. It's recap of turn seven. Wait a minute, wrong game. <laughs> That's the game we're playing this afternoon here. But let's go on over here to the recap that I was going to do. Turn seven, so we are on turn eight, which is the final round of the game. Uh, we have got some IPCs on there that are going to be adjusted here in a second. Let's look at some of the battles that took place. What went on here? Britain, I think, would be the first on this side. I don't know it would be Germany. Germany took Moscow. Got the big explosion there uh, as a capital falls. Uh, they also took Archangel and Stalingrad. Um, there was quite a, a battle there. It was all tanks against all infantry, I think. Maybe Russia had a couple artillery, but it was uh, it was a good battle. Uh, Germany was outnumbered, but they did have the higher rolls. Really, on this side of the Atlantic, nothing transpired. Uh, there was some naval action. Uh, you know, that's true. I didn't mark that. The U.S. broke through the uh, German blockade and came in and took Gibraltar. And other markers, so I don't know why I didn't mark that. So that was the action on, on this side over here. Italy, um, walk on into Alexandria, invasion number one into Egypt, whittled them down to four units. Um, Germany to follow, I don't know, they've got transports, carriers, planes, bombers, could be the end of Cairo. Uh, Britain did retake. Northwest Iran from the Italians. And as we go here in the Pacific, uh, Japan eliminated some land units that uh, the British were going to use on these transports to invade some islands. So they had nothing to do but come over here with their planes and kill the Japanese unit on Java uh, in hopes that uh, Anzac could sneak in there with a transport, but all their transports were sunk. And destroyed uh, one in Philly, uh, Philly, Phil the Philippines, uh, the Marianas, all all those kind of cashed it in. And let's see, America on this side of the map. Well, Marianas was a big naval battle. It was all airplanes for Japan versus the entire fleet, combined fleet. There was Anzac ships in there as well, and uh, they wiped that out. Then America counterattacked, tried to sink that sub and failed. I point that out because what they really did was attack Japan, which triggered the uh, kamikazes. So they went all in on the battleship and you can see they sank that battleship. I point all that out because it's to no avail because America now owns Japan. They dropped the big one on Japan there, so what that means for the game is that no matter, it doesn't really matter how many points the Axis have, if they don't regain Tokyo this round, uh, then the game's over and the Allies win. So that is one of the stipulations. So the Allies do have a chance, you know, so in, in a game like this where they are way behind on the victory points, uh, they, this is an opportunity for them to, to win the game. So that being said, Japan, capital's gone. They have no income. So we take that off, take Tokyo off, and we take the Japanese Empire point because they don't have their capital. So they can't uh, have that income. Did pick up Moscow and Stalingrad. So even as it sits, what are we? 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we still have 16 victory points for the Axis, but like I said, unless Japan is, uh, or Tokyo is liberated, it is an allied victory. So stay tuned for the final round. Good luck, Japan.